question six, we're testing means. And you'll notice that because this question deals with how long it takes to get the initial questions answered in an emergency room. The emergency room wants to see if it takes longer than two minutes. And we have all the data down here showing that it is quantitative. Once again, if you see a histogram, that indicates that we have quantitative data and you're most likely testing means. So let's go ahead and take a look at this right here. Write out the null and the alternative hypothesis suggested by the question. Well, they believe right now that it takes longer than two minutes and they want to see if there is evidence for that. So let's go ahead and start out by saying the true mean amount of time it takes to get the questions answered is equal to two minutes and the true mean amount of time it takes to get the questions answered is greater than two minutes. And you'll notice once again here, the question implies that most emergency room employees believe it takes longer than that on average. So let's see if there is evidence of that by doing our null and our alternative to see which is more likely. With the information on our output, we can actually calculate the test statistic. So let's go ahead and take our sample mean of 2.24 minus our hypothesized mean of two and then divide it by the standard error of the mean, which we can find by doing 0.33824 divided by the square root of 32. Or we can also just use in the output 0.0597. And when we do this right here, we will get a t statistic of right about four. So now we need to go ahead and plot the t statistic. Now, if you'll remember, our sample size for this question is 32. Now it's not a very large sample size, but we do have a pretty large T right here. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. Now you'll notice, just going off of our drawing here, that it seems like we have a very small likelihood. And kind of using a Z as a guideline, we know that our p-value is way smaller than 0.0015. Now your p-value for a t is always bigger than the z, but in this instance, we can pretty much assume that it's gonna be small because above three would be 0 0.0015, and we are above four doing the greater than test. So we are definitely going to reject the null hypothesis here. This is a very small p-value as indicated by our drawing. So now let's go ahead and state the remainder of our conclusion to this test and state it in context of our problem. Once again, go back to your null and go back to your alternative. When we state the alternative, when we state our decision right here, we can just say, I reject the null, that the true time it takes to answer the initial questions is equal to two minutes. I have evidence that the true mean time it takes to answer the questions is greater than two minutes. Once again, I reject the null that the true mean time it takes to answer the questions is equal to two minutes. I have evidence that the true mean time it takes to answer the questions is greater than two minutes.